Ross Elizabeth Vine, you're watching AS News number four. Important meetings this week are ASB, it's going to be on the 16th, and Environmental Leos will be on Wednesday. It's going to be in Mr. Berkstresser's room. So last month's trade of the month was Inquire. As Mr. Middleton mentioned, at the end of every month, we will be recognizing four students that exemplify the IB learner trait of the month. This student um, from the first day of school, the student has been engaged in the lessons. He's a native speaker of Spanish and is always raising his hand to delve further into the topics that we're covering. I feel that his behaviors here at ACE epitomize what it means to be an inquirer and this award goes to Miguel Lopez. So this student I have for my math too and I feel like there is a key phrase in the definition of this trait which is um, independence and in learning. So I feel like this student really portrayed that last year and this year in my class. So this is for Cody G. Um, so my student I picked is probably off learning on his own right now because he is not currently here. Um, but I picked Matthew Needham. <gasps> so you can all text him. <laughs> all of my students um, are great inquirers. However, one in particular sits right up front because that's where I assigned the seat. But he's always very inquisitive. Um, Owen Davis. Well, I would like to read an excerpt from the thesis, from the thesis um, particularly the abstract. <clears throat> and I quote, The unit group structure of Z module M is well known in number theory, largely due to the significance of permanent roots module M wherever they exist. We investigate the, anal the analogous problem for a quadratic number ring O determining the, num the unit group structure of O over A for some non-fixed zero ideal non-zero ideal in, in O along with a set of generators. And as a result, I'd like to call up Ms. Morales. And this month is going to be knowledgeable. So we're here with Ms. Ochoa, and our question for you is, what exactly do you do here at ACE for the students and just in my, general? My day-to-day, -day, uh, schedule changing is huge right now, but I'm also in charge of APEX. So for my juniors and seniors out there, you're starting your APEX classes. Um, 504 meetings, other meetings, prepping for PSAT that's coming out in October, ASVAB, Oxnard College, dual enrollment. Those are the first things that come to my mind. So that's my day to day. See, she doesn't. She doesn't only just do schedule changes. She does more. Yep. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Middleton, why why are you so beautiful? Power plants. So Power would say, plants. Would you say you recommend a vegetarian or vegan lifestyle? I would. Hey. 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 I have a question for you. Okay. Why are you so beautiful? No, so you. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Hey you. That's why are you so beautiful? Yeah, why are you because so beautiful? You're my dad. Plot twist. Excuse me. Not in on jumping jack. Why are you so beautiful? I don't know. Hey, hey. Why are you so beautiful? I don't know. Why are you so beautiful? Hey. Alright, why are you so beautiful? Because my mama made me. <laughs> why are you so beautiful? Effortless. Parkour. Great. We have a question for you. Why are you so beautiful? 
things. Um, I don't know. Do you exfoliate? Yeah, I actually do. I use like three. That's nice. Thanks. We have a question for you two. Why are you two so beautiful? I'm just lucky, I guess. <laughs> In the genes, uh, exercise, uh, hydration, good food. What do you think? Fat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get you got all the essential products right here for a healthy, balanced diet. Hey, Maui here. We're going to have a Ultimate Frisbee tournament next week. Uh, if you guys have any details or any information you guys want, come to me or Mr. Renteria. It's going to be teams of three during lunch. Have fun. That's the end of this week's episode. I hope you have a groovy rest of your week, and thanks for watching Ace News. <laughs> <laughs>